The most common question for any 10 HP peer is how they train their combat stats. So let's talk about that. I feel like this is long overdue. Firstly, you should complete these six quests that revolve around gaining melee XP. These are Dragon Slayer, Holy Grail, The Grand Tree, Tree Gnome Village, Vampire Slayer, and the Waterfall quest. Note that the quests that I give here only grant melee XP. This is because range, prayer, and mage should not be quested for early levels. I also do not include all quests that give combat experience. That's because some of these quests are extremely tedious and overall just are not worth the small amount of combat experience that you receive from them. Be sure to avoid the quests Contact, Death Plateau, Lost City, and Priest in Peril if you plan on doing Slayer in the future. I'm not going to go into detail about a Slayer guide because I will be creating one of those in the future. If you plan on training prayer in the future, it might be beneficial to get 43 prayer for protection prayers before you begin the quest. Once you've completed the quest, you can begin training melees. The first method I'm going to talk about is organized crime. This is by far the best melee experience you can get on a 10 HP peer. I've already made a detailed guide on organized crime on my channel, so if you check in the description down below there will be a link leading to that guide if you want a more detailed explanation. So here's a quick overview on how to do organized crime. First, come to the Shazian house and click on this billboard to check the locations and time on when games will spawn in. Basically what you want to do is continue to hop worlds and find a rotation so that you can hop to as many worlds as you can. Then go to the location, use a cannon on them, kill them, and pick up the intelligence. Once you've completed a round, you go back to the billboard, talk to Captain G, and trade in your intelligence for training manuals. You can then train those training manuals in for melee experience. The second way to train melees on a 10 HP pure is through pest control. The way you get points in there is by repairing barriers. Before you go in, make sure you have a axe, a hammer, a knife or dart, and the candor and headgear one. The reason that you bring a knife or a dart is to repair the barriers faster, and the candor and headgear gives you double the logs from one tree, so this means you only have to cut down 5 trees instead of 10. Of course, use the best boat that you can. The combat level requirements are 40 combat for the novice boat, 70 combat for the intermediate boat, and 100 combat for the veteran boat. And when you trade in your points, make sure that you spend them 100 each because you get a bonus for more points that you spend at once. I will leave a link to a pest control calculator in the description so you can calculate how many more points you need for a certain level. The third way you can train one of your melees, more specifically strength, is through the Warriors Guild. Come to the second floor of the Warriors Guild and come into this back room where the barrel is. Make sure you have energy potions and cakes just in case you mess up. Pick up the barrel and every time your run energy goes down, sip an energy potion. When your run energy is 100%, you have a 100% chance of getting the strength XP and it scales downwards for the lower your run energy is. As a result, you are going to want to drink an energy potion after every time you gain strength XP. It's also worth mentioning that the strength XP reward is based off of your strength level, so XP rates vary. The final training method for melees for 10 HP peers is barbarian fishing. The strength XP you will receive here is complete shit, but realistically it's efficient because you will be passively training it through fishing. This means you should get 99 fishing, or possibly even 200 mil fishing, before you begin training strength. If you're looking to rush combat such as I was, then you're probably going to want to skip this step and stick with the first three methods for training melees that I discuss. However, it is worth mentioning because people like Arptastic have gotten 99 strength through this. All of your range XP should come from Slayer or Organized Crime. Even with organized crime, you will only receive a very small amount of range XP compared to what you get from Slayer. When training Slayer, you will receive double the range XP as you do Slayer XP. This means for 99 Slayer, you will have over 26 million range XP just from training Slayer. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't want to talk about Slayer too much because I will be making a 10 HP Slayer guide in the future. But just know, 
that all of your range XP should basically come from Slayer. In an efficient world, all of your magic experience should come from High Alking while doing other skills such as Agility or Slayer. However, there are other methods that you could use if you want to get it quicker. For example, as you can see here, Stun Alking. Another option would be Superheating, Curses, or maybe even Splashing depending on how AFK you'd want. Overall, most of your magic experience should come from High Alking and Teleports. That way you do not spend any time on magic. There isn't too much to say about prayer. Most of it should be done with dragon bones or wyvern bones on a gilded altar. However, there are other methods such as insult heads on Zaya, but the most efficient way to do it is with dragon bones on a gilded altar. Insult heads is a cheap alternative that also gives range and magic XP, but if you have the money, I'd strongly recommend sticking with dragon bones. <laughs> 